What's going on guys? Gamer Dude back once again with something new and something interesting. So before we begin, y'all know the routine, or at least I hope you do by now. If you aren't new to the channel, please make sure you smash that like button and drop me a subscribe because it would just be your good deed of the day. Same applies if you are a returning viewer. Now then, we are playing the Crew Motorfest today which is actually currently on a free trial basis on the PlayStation Store. You get to play five hours of the game. And it's just to, you know, get you into the feel of it, really. They did the same with the Crew 2, they did the beta, then they did the open beta. I played both of those and then eventually bought the Crew 2. So I'm going to be checking out the Motorfest DLC today and see what it's like. So let's jump in. Uh, I'll be doing a couple of videos of this uh, through the five hours that it's given us. I'll be playing it with Monty Burns Wakey and hopefully a few others, so we'll just see how it goes. Uh, my internet at the moment is also being less than reliable. There's currently a service problem with my internet, so I'll just be... Uh, uploading these rather than live streaming them. We'll go with performance. Yeah, we'll go with sRGB. Um, we'll go with Intermediate, because I played the Crew 2. Oh, oh, yes please. Bring vehicles over from the Crew 2, yes please. Right, so it started 4 hours 59 minutes, 7 seconds. So let's go. I will be checking if I can actually uh, come back to it and do some more gameplay. If not, it's going to be the whole five hours. Welcome to Hawaii, everyone. Nice opening, you know, helicopters jumping into Hawaii. I mean, I must admit, already the graphics look absolutely beautiful for this game. And I really did enjoy the crew too, I got the Platinum Trophy on it. And I usually only go for the Platinum Trophy on a game if I enjoy it or if it's easily obtainable. I just thought my internet holds out long enough for me to actually play it, because unfortunately the crew game does require PlayStation Plus to actually play. You need an online connection to play this game. This looks brilliant. As I understand it as well, this was actually supposed to be a DLC for the Crew 2, but they decided to make it its own game. Gather up everyone! Photo time! Okay, character selection. Uh, okay, well, he looks like a hipster. She looks like the girl who wrecks the party. He's just a K-pop fan. I take that back, she's the K-pop fan. That guy looks okay. That guy looks like he's in a K-pop band. Uh, she looks like the goody two-shoes. That looks like Franklin Clinton from GTA 5. And she's got a, got kind of an eye twitch, bit of a twitchy problem there. So yeah, let's, let's not go for that. But we are really pressed for time. Uh, given that it's only five hours. So we really have to jump right into it. I'm Malu, the Motorfest PR, and I'm here to get you up to speed. 
You are our special guests. Athletes, festival goers, car lovers. I will be curious to see where it goes now that I've imported These my cars are the over. Festival grounds, but we've got the whole island set up for you. We've created a place where you can drive anything. From the iconic to the super customized, I it's like the a sound of that. Best branded, lovingly crafted car Oh, that looks decent. We call these lovelies the playlists. And I'm not just reading from the Motorfest app here either. I tried them out before you arrived. <laughs> here, let me show you. This playlist is a unique Motorfest experience. It's called Made in Japan. Mm hmm Oh, wow. Jumping straight into it. I don't even know the buttons. What's the handbrake? Made in Japan is the way to experience Japanese car culture. It's where tarmac meets tradition. From mountain peaks to square appears to be handbrake. This neon journey is not one to miss. I already figured out the nitro button. You don't need to tell me that. Oops. Okay, I, 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 li I like the handling. The handling is good. The graphics on the cars are beautiful. Trying these playlists out for you. Let's have a look at this. Oh, look at this. That looks beautiful. And I don't usually like first person, so I I've got to say that is beautiful. I will be switching it into manual gearbox instead of automatic as early as I possibly can. But what a car to start you out in, the bloody Toyota Supra, come on. I think I just saw an R34 there. But the next is that an MX5? Addict, a chance to race into the wild. Wow, jumping right into it again. Oh, I know you guys won't be able to hear this because YouTube will cut it out, but the soundtrack is beautiful as well. I love the soundtrack. And this scenery, wow. Driving off -road gives you an opportunity I'm definitely getting some kind of falls path, vibes from this as well. The open expanse. The island becomes your playground. Total freedom becomes Oh, your that's a tree. Thank you. Knocking me off the track, you bastards. Yeah, I'm not going to catch him up now. The handling is very decent. I've really refined it from the crew too, which I like. Four by fours, pickups, quads. You're given every chance to go off the beaten path. I think I might be picking this game up. Even though I'm really short on memory for the PlayStation at the moment. Oh. oh yes, this feels really good, especially with the haptic feedback on the controller. I can feel every little bump, every little scrape. Is that a Ford Bronco? Off-roading is Wrangler Jeep. Improvisation. But the next playlist is all about the Crossers, quad bikes. A beetle? 
Oh, oh is, is it going to put me in an F1 car? Am I in an F1 car? Is this an F1 car moment? I'm in an F1 car! I loved using the F1 car in the uh, Crew 2. Oops! No nitro in this event. Well, it's not really needed. Oh, this is this has got tire wear. Sports is built around racing to the top, the thrill of competing. I don't like how it's, it's like right at the top of the screen races. there. Decision making under pressure. Let's see what this looks like. Oh. <laughs> okay, Ubi, Ubisoft, you kind of outdid yourselves this time. Makes sense. Quick pit stops. There is no better feeling than triumphing with your team in what some consider the apex of motorsports. I must admit, the graphics on this are equally as good as Gran Turismo 7, if not better. Checking on your rivals, it gets intense. And this car is beautiful. I'll definitely have I'll definitely be having one of those again. I hope it transferred over the F1 car I had from the crew too. Felt good to be the champion. Lamborghinis. But then I got to go old school. Vintage garage. A playlist for the true car aficionado. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh the Cobra. Oh, look at this. Look at this. With these cars, it's not just. Oh, this is beautiful. More than nostalgia. I can't wait to explore the uh, explore the map and see the scenery. How they feel how they steer. It was quite a challenge, in the best way possible. Classic Porsche there. I think that's a Miura in front of me. When would you ever get a chance to take I don't know what that is. Legends for a spin. That's another Cobra. That's the power of Vintage Garage. Taste of an age where there was no nitro So Vintage Garage, that no must be GPS another playlist. Feels strangely comfortable. So, I'm guessing unlike uh, the Crew 2 where you could just drive around and then change your car to go to a specific event, you're going to have to activate a playlist, stay in that particular car, and when you've done that playlist, you move to another playlist and change your car. It seems more realistic, seems more accurate than just driving up to the event and randomly changing your car. Yeah, I do like the soundtrack for this game, you know, like, like I said, you guys probably won't be able to hear it because YouTube will screen it out, but the soundtrack is actually incredible. Oh, V-dubs! So, out with the old and in with the new, they say. The next playlist is legendary. F40! Lamborghini. Oh. Look, is, is this the new Lamborghini? I'm running out of I believe this is the new Lamborghini. Oh yes. As soon as you saw that Lamborghini logo, you knew what this playlist was gonna be. Hell yeah. Some of the most recognizable car designs in existence at your disposal. Oops, that's a wall. They're all actually following the racing line. I'm thinking the AI might be a little bit smarter in this crew game. There's nothing quite like some of these cars. Oops. 
It's like a speed race through the story of Lamborghini. One of I do like the handling. I'm gonna have to get used to it because it is a lot different than the Crew 2. And of course, at the earliest convenience, I'm going to be changing the gear ratios to, uh, to manual Ross instead of automatic. Was a rare privilege. A privilege Motorfest graciously gave me. Ah, that, that. And now, nah, uh, it's your turn. That UI interface though, that commentator. Shoo! I didn't like the commentator in the crew too, and I don't like it in this. Oh, that's in kilometers per hour. I'm going to have to change that to miles per hour as well. Guide you. Is that the BMW Z4? Yes, it is the Z4. Oh, come on. S2000? That is just so tempting. Now, I would go for a Stang, but I'm thinking it's going to have to be the S2000. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking the S2000. Yeah, I'm definitely choosing the uh, S2000. And the, uh, the best part is, I've just learned as well, because my internet went down for a bit. I've just learned that if you come off the game, the timer stops. So when you come back to the game, the timer restarts, so that's great. Speaking of internet going down, it just went down again, so it's going to kick me off the game. It does suck that you need a constant internet connection to play this game. So we'll have to uh, try and sort that out. In a journey through Japanese car culture. In a journey through Japanese car culture. So now we get to choose a playlist. Okay, what do we want? Hawaii Maybe Japan. Tour. Hawaii. Discover, explore, and photograph the hidden charms and captivating beauty of Hawaii. American muscle. America. Show up. 9 11 legacy. The Porsche Ooh. story. Experience. Rule the streets. Join the donor. Made um... in Japan. You know what? I went with the S2000, so Japan. Playlist cleared and ready for takeoff, driver. We put this playlist together to give you a taste of Japanese racing culture. I want to try it. I got to try it. I got to do it. Loop de loop. <laughs> oh yeah, this is fun. This is fun. But this is not the car I chose. Oh, we gotta work on that. How do we change the settings? Oh, okay, here we go. Map. Oh. Oh my. Oh, holy hell. This is huge. This is huge! It's gonna be like the entirety of Japan here! Well, maybe not the entirety, but you know what I mean. Some extra islands over there, so open for expansion. Maybe some off-roading stuff. Kinda of wanna to get to the settings. How do I want to get to the settings? Vehicles. Let's see what we got on the transfer. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it did. It transferred the lot. Even the modifications. And the liveries. Oh. oh, no, it didn't transfer the liveries because I put a livery on that. Okay, well, that's okay. That's okay. That doesn't matter. Oh, yes. There's my F1 car. Yeah, it's, it's not giving me deliveries that I put on the vehicles, which, again, I'm not too bothered with. Because uh, I can just 
always make them again. The only th the only th thing it hasn't given me is the Spitfire. So what do we want to drive? I'm thinking the McLaren P1. Ooh, customize. So there's nothing in there. Liveries. My livery. No, I don't think it's transferred those. So these are liveries you get with the game. I am hoping that there is a livery creator in this game. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much time on that because we are pressed for time. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What does this look like in first person, I wonder? Oh, it sounds beautiful as well. Listen to that. Crunch. I'm going to have to buy this game. Ooh. Got to get used to the damn thing again. The scenery as well is gorgeous. Japanese vehicles are a modest dream. These souped up speeders like a part of tour. And we're in this with other players as well. Spoiler alert! You'll be doing everything from drifting in the mountains to racing heavily customized vehicles. No sploosh, no sploosh. No Show you the ropes. You'll get extra detail real soon. But let's head to the uh, container first. Uh, uh. Oh, vintage garage. Tell you what. Let's have a look at some of the cars. I'm afraid we don't have time for the cutscene. Playlist. The question isn't where you're going, but when. Oh, oh, that's that's a playlist. <clears throat> this is a lot of event. I thought this was a garage where you could buy cars. Photo ops, feats, events, fast travels. Okay, okay, I like. Another activity awaits. First up, the fifties. You'll start your Wait, so where was it sending me the first time? Made in Japan. I think I'm gonna need a, uh, a new vehicle for that. A One, into that. The pub. One that drifts. <clears throat> I mean, in the crew too, that was my drifter. But I kind of want to use the S2000. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I wonder how you get to like assist, like drift assist and things like that. There's got to be some kind of... Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, options. Gearbox. There we go. Automatic and manual. Steering. Default.
Uh, for the sake of this video, I am going to keep it in automatic, but I will be switching that as soon as possible, now that I know how to do it. Past with a smooth ride behind the wheel of a Cadillac Eldorado. And I still didn't change the vehicle. I'm too excited, you know, because I'm on a timer. I just want to do as much as possible. No guidance system, no fancy electronics, just pure mechanics. So you can enjoy some actual mid 20th century sensations. Japanese vehicles are a modest dream. These souped up speed. Fast vehicle change, tour. that's back. I'm trying to figure out how to actually drift correctly. Just friends. Because <clears throat> well, uh, it, it's in kilometers an hour at the minute and we want it as uh, miles per hour. So how do we do that? I think that's how you do it. Yes. I can't believe I did a loop-de-loop -loop in a Mustang. I <laughs> mean, come on. <laughs> but yeah, this, this looks really freaking good. I mean, the, even the animations and stuff, they're using real-world animations for this. When you're big in Japan. Sorry, that, that song just popped into my head uh, doing that. We made sure you discover almost everything the Japanese drivers have to offer. So we got events, feats, photo ops, and fast travel. Another activity awaits. I'll tell you what, then, if we're going to have to drive there, we're going to drive there in style. We couldn't take you oh, to Japan, yes. so we brought Japan to you. There's a special gathering tonight at the Japanese temple. I got that beeping, isn't that? Experience. Here's what to expect when getting there. A traditional Japanese summer vibe and lots of Kyusha cars. Meaning iconic, classic and made in Japan. On top of this, expect some exciting encounters. J turns well. I think we're just wasting time looking for that. Oh crap! Thank god that's shallow. Let's see what this puppy can do. Oh, no brakes! Don't worry, you'll meet them yeah, the brakes are on fire. 
thought to walk nearby. I think I'll leave the collectibles to get for myself. I just want to uh, show you guys the gameplay. Okay, so it gives you a loaned vehicle and it's giving me an NSX. Okay, okay, that's fine. Try not to crash it. <laughs> oh, Mitsubishi Eclipse. Is that a Fiat 500? Ah, you could get an hour. So no doki or cut there. So you had to wait, kid. This is just a Fast and Furious vibe right now. You know, it feels like it feels like Han just came up to me. Look, even the bald guy there, that looks like Vin Diesel. Try this guy then. I guess I'm the Paul Walker going for the NSX. Oh yeah, here we go, guys. Here we go. Let's get this done. Woo! All right, kiddo, game on. We're going for some proper Japanese street racing. Let's show them, guys. Gotcha. Got it. Sure. Why not? I'm getting the hang of the handling. Motorfest asked us to show you how it's done, but we don't do free tours here. You gotta play your part and give us a bit of a challenge. No pressure at all. Yeah, don't scare the kid, brother. Right up my trumpet. Are you familiar with the Honda you're driving? The MSX is in your regular streetcar. It was made back in the 90s to stand neck and neck with the likes of Ferrari and Porsche. You sound just like Shingo. About Shingo, you know that if a rookie beats us with his NSX, we won't hear the end of it, right? Four I seconds really ahead. About giving Shingo the satisfaction. Better focus and win this thing, then. I really like this game. I am going to have to purchase this game. So I've got something else to play in the interim. Waiting for Spider-Man 2. You know what NSX stands for? New sports car experimental. I wasn't asking. Uh, admittedly, I was going to buy Star Wars Jedi Survivor because it was on discount on PlayStation Plus. But then I saw how much memory the game required. 150 gigabytes. So I decided against it. And now this is out, I figured, well, this only takes up about 80 gigs, so I might as well. Sounds so good. I've still got to get the hang of drifting. Yeah, don't use the handbrake, it just stops you dead. Mood they said feels just like our own traditional festival back home. Winning's winning. 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 Twelve second lead. The one thing that didn't transfer over from the crew two was my credits. But no matter. Congratulations, driver. On to the next one. Our next stop, 
Okay, so I'm going to pause this particular video and um, come back in a little bit. Okay, so on this particular event, it looks like it's going to give me the R34, at least I hope so. Yep. Loaned vehicle. Even though I had one in the Crew 2, I'm not sure if that one's transferred over. Maybe it's only done a select few vehicles. I don't know because I don't know where the main hub garage is. I don't know if this game has a main hub garage like the Crew 2. Very Paul Walker. I've driven this thing enough times in enough games to know how it handles. So well, let's see if they've done it justice in this game. With my NSX. Got me interested. Well then I believe you're in for a treat. Oh yeah? Well bring it on. Out of the way! Show continues, kid. But watch out. You're driving Ren's Skyline this time, and there's no word to tell you how crazy she is about that car. Rude! Can't blame her. The R34 is a legend. It's a kaiju. Rebellion! Newbie wants to take the lead. The Skyline is an icon. It's a powerful car that takes skill to control. Yep. Ren spent years taming that beast. That car got nicknamed Godzilla for a reason. Gotcha. So basically, you crash Ren's car, better leave the planet. Oh, uh, oh, uh, no! You're a fighter. There we go. Oh, wait, no. One more time. I love the rewind option. Nice drift on the recovery there. You didn't see anything. I didn't rewind. Just what are you chatting? That path is perfect to get a taste of the Wangan spirit. An absolute myth among Japanese street racers. Yeah, picture the Tokyo Basho route with one thing in mind, never slowing down. After this particular video, I am going to call it a day so I can play it with my friends because I don't want to waste the whole five hours today. <laughs> Oh dear, I crashed this skyline. I bet it would evacuate the planet. Oh yes! In a Wangan race, you gotta go fast, friend. Well, guys, I don't think it's gonna uh, be Way back when, when the Crew 2 first came out, I did a lot of videos for the Crew 2. And it was extraordinarily popular on the channel. Especially when me and the guys met up and did uh, a kind of Spitfire Battle of Britain thing. Everybody loved that. Uh, we even did like a Top Gear style road trip in muscle cars. Everybody loved that as well. That got plenty of views. These dragons are massive. Uh, sadly now though, that crew of friends that we did play it with no longer play on the PlayStation. So... It's gonna it is gonna be a bit difficult to make videos like that, but I'll still be producing content Shut on this turn. game. Careful. Oh no, that was off. Oh. That was clean. Reminds me of that time Shingo missed a turn during a midnight race, supposedly because he was dazzled by the moonlight. Oh. Shut up. Listen to that. that. It sounds so good. I think I'm getting the hang of the drifting. Oops. Impressive drive. Ren will be happy to know that the skyline has once again shown its supremacy. Kind of damaged it though. I'm glad that wasn't the bonus objective to like finish that race without crashing, otherwise well, I'd, I'd have been pretty screwed. Great. 
I think what I need to look for now is the main garage hub. So I'm going to end that video there and come back with another one. So I did find that the, at the moment that is, there isn't a main hub garage. There's only like the garage in the pause menu. I don't know what that'll be like in the main game, but I figured I'd show off the livery creator for the vehicles. So you've got all these little patterns. I'm assuming the main game will have more selections. If not, what? <laughs> You got logos, letters, numbers, and local, I'm assuming, is uploads. Okay, well, it's not the best livery creator. I mean, I definitely preferred the Crew 2's livery creator over this, but then again, you've got to think of this as like a beta, so you can't really judge it right now you know that the, the whole livery editor or livery creator should i say might be accessible in the full game but you know we don't know yet so yeah but yeah that's going to cover it for today's series of videos i'll be back tomorrow hopefully playing it with monty burns wakey so do stay tuned and of course if you aren't new to the channel please make sure you smash that like button and drop me a subscribe because it would just be your good deed of the day same applies if you are a returning viewer so yeah, until the next one, this has been Gamer Dude. Happy gaming, and I will catch you all in the next one, guys.